So into our previous videos already we have seen how we can create applications and how we can send a push notifications to the applications we have created. Now what if if I want to run some specific jobs or schedule some specific jobs for my applications. So you might be knowing about the cron jobs where generally we can schedule the jobs for any of your operating system. Same way here we are going to use your web jobs which will make you easy to run the jobs in the backend. So your web jobs is a service which provides an easy way to run your scripts or program as a background process in context to any of the applications you have created. Either it is your web based applications or mobile based applications or application API or any of your services. So in short, I can say you are going to schedule jobs at the back end of any process or any applications you have created. If you want to create your web jobs, there are different upload and runtime generally we have. We can use your CMD or batch files, we can use your exe that is created into your .NET or we can use our script that is your partial scripts. We can also use your SH scripts. Also we can create our PHP scripts, PY that is your Python scripts js that is javascript as well as your jar that is your jar files we can use this kind of files to run your jobs we should schedule this particular files and directly schedule this task onto your web jobs at the back end now this particular jobs can also be created using your vs that is called as your visual studio that is net where we can create and deploy and manage your web jobs easily we can also use this particular web jobs from a template and publish this particular template so that this particular template can be used for any other jobs. What is this template? Template is nothing but a sample copy of a particular job which you create. For example, I have created a web based job for one of my application and I require the same jobs to be deployed to my other application and this particular process should work in the back end of that particular application. What I can do, I can create a template or a sample copy of this particular web job which can be again attached to other applications I have created. Same way we can use your Azure portal which provides you a powerful management capabilities where you can manage these web jobs or also it provides you a full control over execution of your web jobs. Now for example, you have created your web jobs in your CMD or in, as your PowerShell script. Now I just want to run the script and let's check whether this particular job is working fine or not, whether it is done or completed successfully or not. So before you deploy or before you attach this web jobs to your applications, you can test it on the PowerShell console itself. Also you have an ability to invoke the individual functions within the jobs we have created. Now if you have created a web jobs which has a multiple commands or multiple you know tasks to be done if you want to test on a single task you can even select the task and run on your azure portal and this version studio if you have in your system you can create and update this particular job and upload or sync with your azure portal also if you talk about your azure jobs can be created using your sdk so sdk it can be your software development kit, it, it can be any kind of SDK. You can even download this software SDK from your Azure portal. You need to download, log in to your Azure and then you will be able to use and deploy all the application notifications or any kind of web jobs you have created for your applications. So here it simplifies the code and you write. So just you need to easily write your codes, you write the code and sync it with your applications. It also provides you has a built-in feature which is working with your storage as well as your service buses. So you can directly attach your applications to your storages. You can also deploy the web jobs to your storages where generally you have created or deploy your application. Also you get design and extensible that is an open source repository or the container you can create which has a different versions and this particular different versions again can have different word jobs which you can create in your SDK and this particular web jobs can be created using your C sharp scripts or node.js or any other languages you have 
So this scripts can be easily attached to the applications by directly using your SDK. So no need to log into your portal or no need to move and install any of your application or any of your platform. Just you can do by using your SDK itself, which is easily downloadable from your Azure portal. So this is how generally we can create your web jobs. So let us see how we can configure this web jobs and how we can create our web jobs for our applications into our next video.